Hi students, let us continue with the Zigbee technology. So let, now let us see, this is one of the home network. Uh, so in the previous video, I explained about how the Zigbee works and what does exactly the Zigbee will do. Now there are three different types of Zigbee devices. So one is Zigbee coordinator that you call ZC and another is Zigbee router means the devices that are present in between the coordinator and the dead uh, end devices and the third one is Zigbee end devices ZED so these are the three Zigbee devices different types of Zigbee devices so one the first uh, the remote you are acting as uh, operating that is a zigbee coordinator in between that so the zigbee coordinator will communicate with the zigbee routers and it, they will reach the zigbee end devices now coming to the zigbee coordinator actually the zigbee coordinator is the most capable device the coordinator forms the root of a network it acts as a root of a network tree and uh, might bridge to other networks so it uh, connects other network also connects to other network it acts as a uh, root of network tree and able to connect the other networks so it is able to store information about networks and it is exactly let me write that able to store information about networks so the network zigbee coordinator is able to store network information and there is exactly one zigbee coordinator only one zigbee coordinator only one zigbee coordinator will be there and also it acts as reposit uh, repository for security keys now coming to the zigbee router a zigbee router uh, acts as an intermediate routers so I said that this is acting as an intermediate routers and passing data from uh, from other devices and also it is used for passing data so in the form of packets that you call it as a beacon. Now coming to the Zigbee end devices so what the Zigbee end devices will do so it contains just enough functionality to talk to its coordinator it cannot relay data from other devices so it is just an end devices that's why it cannot relay data from other devices because this is an end device and it just uh, enough uh, it contains just enough functionality to talk to its coordinator. So these are the different uh, three types of uh, Zigbee devices that are used in Zigbee technology. Now let us see uh, Zigbee network configuration. So this is a Zigbee network configuration. Here you can see this is one network and this is another network and these, uh, these two. Suppose this is uh, one home network and this is another home network. These two will be connected with the help of another network. Here we are using some mesh technology. Uh, mesh topology and here this uh, yellow uh, orange one you call it as a zigbee coordinator so this is zigbee coordinator so the zigbee coordinator is always uh, having the device like fully functional full function device it acts as a full function device and here i said only one zigbee coordinator will be there so the zigbee coordinator is communicating with these devices and with these devices so here these blue color circles you call it as a zigbee routers zigbee routers so acts as an intermediate nodes and these yellow ones you call is as a zigbee end devices zigbee end devices so the zigbee end devices will act on rfd or fft and these links are the uh, mesh links and within this uh, circle these are star links so this is a star topology these all end devices are connected in star topology and these will be connected in mesh topology okay 
so this uh, end devices are all connected in the start topology and uh, these will be routers and coordinator is connected with the mesh topology so what exactly here it is doing that so it is sending the signals uh, to the end devices with the help of routers so first it passing from here to here and like this here to here here to here and it is communicating with all the end devices so all end devices are glowing at one one time so this is a bidirectional and also it is selecting one of the path so it is uh, the coordinator is checking which router is in active state suppose this is an active state it goes to here and from here to here and all the end devices whatever the end devices here are there so all those end devices will glow the light okay so this is how the zigbee network will be configured so this is uh, by using mesh technology topology and the star topology we are connected the zigbee coordinator zigbee routers and zigbee end devices and here you can see this is a zigbee mesh technology i'm taking the simple example here so in this example so here the switch is there so whenever i switch on this the light has to be glow so this light is present in somewhere in one room suppose this is present in living room i'm present in the another room so master room so i just switch on there by using the uh, coordinator so first what it does so it checks the nearest node which is present to that uh, light and next checks the next nearest next nearest next nearest like that it will take the path suppose and it one more thing the node that is selecting which is nearest to that node that should be in active state so that has to be in active state so let us take these two nodes are in inactive so whenever these two nodes are inactive this complete communication will be break so now how what it do so first it take uh, the signal comes to the nearest node next it checks so this is already breaked and this is also in inactive so it choose this node and goes to here and from here to here and the light will be on so from the master room it takes the nearest switch that is present to this suppose the switch that is present in the room, master room and from to this uh, dining room and from dining room to this uh, living room one area and from living room to the main switch that is present in the uh, related to the bulb and that bulb will send the uh, light will uh, switch will send the signal to the bulb then the bulb will glow so this is how the zigbee will be arranged by using the mesh network so it will choose the path which path will be suited for to send the uh, signal to the light from one room to another room thank you